Hello and welcome back to Assorted Geekdom. This is Merrick and this is my Skybound playthrough. Uh, since we last met, I was working on this. Um, and what it does, I had a great uh, recommendation um, to make it so that, uh, here, let me just do 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 do. That should be good. All right, so we got all those. Turn those into iron. Um, and if we put these in the smelter. Oop. All right, let's gear up. Just because. Let me out. All right, so if you watch this, unless it broke. There it goes. All right. So when stuff is smelting... Uh, the lava will flow down, uh, making it look like this. So this is a blast furnace, or at least it's supposed to be. Um, and so the lava flows down, making it look like the blast furnace is lit. Uh, and then after everything has been distributed, it will turn off. But what it does down here, uh, I have it set up on, see this keeps flickering off and on and off and on and off and on as stuff passes through because what it's reading is one of the hoppers uh, and so I have a uh, pulse extender set up right here so that even though that is flickering this will maintain for a while in between that flickering um, and so you can see stuff uh, that's that's all of it coming in so eventually this will shut off and then the pulse extender will extend it a bit more but once this signal goes off uh, then the the lava will um, retract back up it'll it'll cause that to come off um, I also set up a oh and since the last episode oh I just grabbed some of this stuff that's okay um, since the last episode, on, or in the last episode, I switched out so there's only one powered rail there, and I haven't had this randomly stopping on me anymore, so that fixed that. Um, and then I also, like I talked about, um, off of this hopper here, so that's my fuel line, is right here, but off of this hopper here, I have a chain coming up, and what that is leading to is... This right here, um, this light right here, to tell me if my fuel is empty. So if that light is off, that means my fuel input is empty, and I need to fix that. Um, but while I'm right here, let's do this. We can load up some more fuel in there. Um, probably don't need to do this. There's probably plenty of fuel with all the... Um, all the stuff coming in from my tree, the sorting tree. Um, but never hurts to put a little bit more fuel in there. Uh, so uh, all of this is still back here, all of the sorting and everything. Um, still have access here if I don't want to use my elytra to fly down, so I can just come down here and take a look at things. Um, yeah, the one thing I am a little bit sad about uh, in closing all of this is you don't get to see the pipes from the outside anymore which you know it is what it is uh, I would rather have this set up but yeah so I've got that all taken care of uh, now what I want to do today is I want to do a little bit of resource gathering and what I mean by that is we want to make uh, I want to do some resource, resource gathering for the giant chicken that I want to put up on top of the um, up on top of the, the giant, uh, why am I blanking? The giant chest. Uh, so what I want to do first is, is it this guy? Hey you, do you have, yeah, clay blocks. I want to buy some clay, some clay blocks from him. I could build houses too. Well, that's great. All right, so we're going to turn this into terracotta, and I just realized I don't even have an island pass. What am I doing? Um, all right, so, boop. I mean, not that I need it right now, but it's always a good idea to have an island pass on you. All right, so let's put that stuff away. 
Let's go smelt up some clay into terracotta. Um, yeah, this should be almost done with what I had put in there. Uh, I didn't check the, the front to see if it was actually done. Yeah, so it looks like it was pretty much done. Um, so yeah, so let's see. What I want to do, I need to get the vanilla tweaks thing. I need to check to see if it's for bedrock. I saw it on Hermitcraft. They've got a little indicator here to show if this is powered or not. It has a little red, st red uh, stone strip right here that shows whether this is powered or not. Um, right now it is powered because you can tell based on right there, that hopper in the back is locked. See, so if, I, if I come here, that's not locked and that's a, a bedrock tweaks thing as well um so it's just a resource pack um so there goes that stuff so it should be coming through yeah there we go it's coming through pretty quick so um while we're waiting for that to come through let's go ahead and do some of this um like i said never hurts to have more fuel in here um and then what we need for resource gathering purposes, all right, fuel input, um, we want some, I think I'm going to use petal blocks for the giant chicken. Um, and then it'll be hollow on the inside, and all of the chickens will be in there, and why? That was weird. I must have only put half of it there. Um... Yeah, so I want to use petal blocks. I want to use, I think, light gray and white petal blocks. Um, and so the best way to do that is, of course, with flowers uh, in here, right? Yeah, there's some super fertilizer. Uh, Oxidaisies will give me, and I think white tulips actually do too, will give me uh, the light gray. The lily of the valley... Um, I always want to keep at least one here. Uh, so I guess for those that don't know, the best way to get um, flowers in Bedrock version is uh, to do, let's see, we don't need those right now, um, is to do this. I'll show you. Um, so you come over to a spot where you can cut into the ground just a little bit. Um, there we go. This is fine. And then you put your flower in there, and the flowers, if you bone, in this is only bedrock, this doesn't work in Java, but if you bone meal a flower, and it helps if it's in a divot like that, it'll spread a little bit uh, easier. Um, if you bone meal a single tall flower in bedrock version, it will only spread those flowers, with two exceptions. The poppies and the dandelions, they will actually spread each other as well. But all the other flowers... Boom, see, only getting the lily of the, um, what's this, the lily of the valley. So that's uh, one of the best ways to get um, a specific type of flower if you're looking for a specific type of dye, or in this case, we're trying to make uh, super flowers. So that is how you do it. So yeah, just a few, three bone meal, and I already got a ton. So that's nice. All right, let's put that back. And what else? Well, we wanted, I think we're with Oxide Daisies. Um, they're all over the place, so I can just walk, run around and collect some. Um, but yeah, uh, so that'll give us light gray. Uh, and the, ter the uh, terracotta specifically, I'm going to use some colored terracotta for the beak um, is my plan there. Uh, and then we also wanted, we're going to need some yellow. Um, so we want some of the dandelions as well. Um, yellow and orange petal blocks. Um, so let's do that. All right. So that should get us a fair amount, probably enough to be honest, because it's not like I'm trying to make it a huge... I mean, it'll be big, but it's not going to be like crazy, crazy big. All right, so let's do this. Boom, and then how far can we can we reach all this? I wish there was a specific tool that made these mine faster. As much as I like the pedal blocks, 
Um, they do take a while to to mine, even with uh, an efficiency five axe. Uh, even a hoe doesn't work. They don't have a specific tool coded on them. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, let's get ourselves some of these. And then even though these are logs, they don't seem to be coded specifically either. Like they are a little bit faster, but they're not as fast as normal logs with an efficiency five diamond axe. So that is one pain uh, to harvesting these. And I have considered possibly trapping a wither in the end underneath one of the, the portals and setting up a... Um, Having, a, having the wither break these uh, for me, um, that could be that could be good. Uh, that way I can have it uh, an automatic farm. I might do that. We'll see. Trapping the wither is tricky. Um, I've never... I know it's possible, but I've never actually done it. Uh, there is a glitch, and I assume it'll work here. There is a glitch that lets you get bedrock, so I could technically trap a wither around here instead of under in one of the end portal doodads um but yeah so i might do that we'll see maybe um comment if you want me to to give that a try um yeah it could lead to some hilarious f fails uh 48 probably isn't gonna be enough but that's okay we'll we'll get some more here in a little bit um, but yeah, cause this, this takes a while. It's a little painful, especially with how much in this particular map you can automate. Um, this taking a, the manual grind is a bit rough. I don't know why, why isn't my durability going down? I just have unbreaking three. Does this not take durability on your axe? Is it glitched? It might be glitched. I don't know. That's weird. It is nice that you can get pretty much everything, at least on these particular flowers with this, um, from this height. If I did something like a sunflower, I definitely could not. Uh, the sunflower goes super high up into the air. As is, uh, I've got a sunflower over on the other side of the island over actually you can see it right there it goes pretty high so this one goes pretty high this one goes pretty high too actually the uh oh what's that an allium so all right how many we probably got enough yellow don't have quite enough orange yet we do in order to get some tulips um so you can get one of the easiest ways is you can go to, oh, which one is it? I don't think I have. One of the fishing areas gives you um, flowers. But if you don't want to do that, then you can always come over here to the florist, the orange one over here. And if you unlock the second section, she sells... I think pretty much all of the single tall flowers. So that's a great way to do it. Um, I mostly just bought the super fertilizer from her because I didn't really need any of this other stuff. But yeah. So uh, if you're looking for a way to get the two tall flowers, that's or the single tall flowers rather, that's the best way to do it. If you're, I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but one of the best ways to get the two tall flowers is just to come right over here, and if you bone meal these, boop, they'll drop it. And actually, you can bone meal that and spread it, and yeah, there's a few things you can mess around with with bone meal. Actually, I wonder, I've never tried this. Uh, let's let's do it to one of these ones. Does this work? No, but you can bone meal, but you can't super fertilize her. Eh. I, I am unsurprised, but yeah. So, all right, where were we? We were getting orange. That's what we were doing. Ooh, that was a little jumpy. Uh, all right, 
Uh, seven should be plenty. So let's come back over to our little cleared out area over here. And we can get some tulips. All right. Bloop. And this one I might have to actually stack up a little bit to get to. Or if I do this. Can I get everything? My guess is I can't reach. Yeah, see, I can't reach quite everything. Uh, but if I go like this, as you do, should be able to get everything from here now. Nope, I gotta go up one more. All right. And seriously, why isn't my axe losing durability? Like, I am in just survival, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's weird. There's there's a lot of glitches with this map, but it, even with the glitches, it's fun. So, um, but yeah. So what we're gonna do is, um, do I have? I didn't ever ever get any white, but I'm gonna show you the the basic plan here. Um, let me pull up a reference image of a Minecraft. Uh, uh, chicken. All right, so up here we've got, let's see, the pedal blocks. Boom. All right, how far back is the chicken, the body? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? Yeah, eight. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is about midway here. Yeah. All right. So then, I don't know, somewhere about right here is what we're going to do. All right. So. And we're not gonna we're not gonna finish this during this, but just to give you an idea of what I'm kind of going for here, and I wish I could, I wish I had jump boost right now. Um, so this is I'm working on the feet if you were curious, uh, and that and that. All right, so that'll be the feet, um, and what I want to do is have it set up so that I think it's right. Here, yeah. Have it set up so that uh, right here in the middle, so maybe these two spots, um, it automatically drops everything that we get from the chickens right here. And I don't want all of the chickens in here. I only want the chickens that give me stuff to sieve. Um, and so I'll have them drop right here so that they go on this conveyor belt and they go over and they automatically get sieved. That way I'm not needing to um, come over here and keep um, manually moving stuff in um, and just face plant. <laughs> uh, so what I've been doing is every now and again coming over here, yeah, see this is almost empty, is just grabbing a whole bunch of this stuff and then coming over here here and coming right here and just dumping it in here because this if you remember automatically feeds into here so now that stuff and I just picked some up didn't I yes I did all right stop pick, picking stuff up all right uh, bloop. so then it automatically feeds into this line um, which I actually expanded this because I was wondering where I, cause I was thinking I was going to drop it in this section here, but ultimately it doesn't matter that I expanded that little tidbit. Um, but yeah, so it pushes it along and it joins up with this stuff that's getting automatically crushed and it gets sieved. And let's go... Uh, oh, and one other thing you'll notice, I've got an extra crusher there. Uh, every now and again when I would come up here, some of the cobble would make it past um and it would be sitting actually there's some right there huh 
How is it making making it past two? It's got I've got two to turn the cobble into gravel. I was hoping that that would mitigate it. I don't know. I really don't know why that's doing that. That's weird. Um, yeah, maybe I can figure it out. Maybe not. It's not. Ultimately, it's not that big a deal because we're processing so much stuff. Like, um, I almost kind of think I might need to turn it off eventually. Um, because my as big as my storage system is, like this stuff should be fine for quite some time. Like, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe I should have put more uh more storage in here. Cause yeah. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Well, what I can do, it, I guess, is I need to go end rating or put some. Sh I do have a few shulkers in each of these, and also with this, I can turn all the bone meal into bone blocks, but I can't combine uh, stuff on a lot of this. Well, I can mine that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Uh, and, that, well, and these two. I do want to get some sea lanterns. Uh, that's partially why I've got it uh, automatically in the sand mode, because I want to get some prismarine. I don't know what I'm going to put it on, and I definitely want to get some dark... Uh, prismarine. I like dark prismarine. Um, don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I just want it to be there when I want it. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, back to this. I know I'm a little scatterbrained. So, right here, the plan, ha, stick the landing, is, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, about five, maybe? One, two, three five and then we'll put the body right about here and we're gonna mix the light gray with the uh some white and whatnot and oh we, i wanted to get i know i want to get some red as well for the um little dangly bit off of the bill um but yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna build the chicken here uh and then it the drops are gonna fall right down there and get automatically sieved. And so what I want to do, the different things that we can sieve, um, I don't necessarily want more of these three because I can set it to any of those. Um, although I could, because I've got the chickens. I might as well. Um, but I was thinking definitely the soul sand because there's those and definitely the red sand. Uh, I don't think I care about putting dirt chickens up there because I don't really need any more of this stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we can put those some of those chickens in there as well. So soul sand, red sand, and maybe we'll put some of those as well. So, but yeah, we're going to end up with a ton of iron from all that. Uh, like, I've already got... Uh, like uh, just a ton, a ton of some of these resources in here. Um, so like how full is this iron? It's not up to there yet, but it's, it's getting close. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Copper. I don't think these have all that much cause I haven't been doing a lot of the, uh, the gravel and that's, ooh, that's a lot more gold than I than I remembered having than I was expecting. This I doubt we have a whole lot. Coal we have a decent amount. Oh, I didn't actually mean to grab that. That's okay. I can go like this. Bloop. Um, and I don't think I'll use that as fuel. The coal. Uh, I might use some of it for torches, but I th I think I want to get the coal blocks. I might decorate with those. So and then I've smelted a bunch of that. I need to come in and combine some of this. Um, so, yeah. We've already processed all of that terracotta. That was pretty uh, relatively quick. So, um, Oh, and I really like the floor. So this is uh, polished basalt. Um, I went to the, the nether and got some basalt. So this is polished basalt, and I, I kind of like the, the floor pattern here. So... Yeah, not too shabby. Um, it's it's consistent and not haphazard, unlike um, 
this there's no rhyme or reason to any of that but um yeah no i'm i'm liking it i do wonder how uh how are we doing over here because i need to get back to that at some point um mostly i need leaves wow maybe i'll put i need to get uh, probably a few more botany pots set up up here because right now uh, I, I'm surprised that that's not more. Maybe I just need AFK more? I don't know. But I've got eight. Eight botany pots with the spruce. Uh, and I guess I could mix more leaves into it than just spruce. Um, but, yeah, that's mostly what I've been using for this. Like, all the wood is spruce. Uh, well, most of the wood, I should say. I do have some... Uh, dark oak accents in the wood, but the wood is pretty much done. I think I'm I'm happy with the wood. But yeah, see the those planks right there? Those are dark oak planks. And then some of these, um, in an effort to... I, I haven't seen any mobs, but in an effort to try to mob-proof this some more, see, here's some pressure plates up here. Um, and so I, I haven't seen any mobs spawning up here. Um, haven't run into any. So I think I did a pretty good job at spawn proofing this in different places but yeah so here's there's a pressure plate um but yeah there's pressure plates and there's um slabs dark oak pressure plates and dark oak slabs throughout and some of it's just decoration like it's on the underside and stuff but yeah i definitely i need it needs more volume it's too flat at least in my opinion um I think that's my biggest issue with it. And then, of course, leaves up here, are, I don't have to worry about spawn proof in that because they're already spawn proof. Um, I was really hoping, and I tested uh, this at one point, the petal blocks, I was hoping they would act like leaves and be spawn proof, but they are not. So, um, but yeah, so that's my plan. Get the chicken up here done. Uh, that's done. Uh, and then once the chicken is done and it's already automatically sieving, now I'll probably have to incorporate some lights into this uh, to make sure that it's not spawning anything. But I could probably hide some lights, like just put a torch right there, and that should probably prevent stuff spawning there. It won't spawn? It won't prevent up there, but it, it should prevent on the feet. But yeah, get some lighting in here and whatnot. So, but yeah, so I'm going to, uh, in between these episodes, I'm going to get this set up and you'll be able to see that. Um, and it will just be hanging out on top of, on top of the, the double chest right there. So, um, it, I, it almost feels like, uh, I'm in, um, uh, Super Mario three, the big world. That's almost what this feels like. Cause I've got. The giant chest, I've got the the giant um, uh, blast furnace, and that, actually, how it is, almost looks like a dark oak sapling. Like, it could be the sorting sapling, and I could just say it's done, but I don't know, I don't think I want to do that. Um, but that, how it is right now, it almost looks like a giant dark oak sap <laughs> sapling. Um yeah, see, let's see. Let's go grab a dark oak sapling and take a look at, at the... Uh, let's see, is this one dark oak? Uh, it is dark oak. There we go. So if we take a look at that, let's plant one of these just right here. That's fine. See, it almost kind of looks like a dark oak sapling. I think, I think it's pretty close. <laughs> um, all right. Actually, I'll just leave that there. I don't need it. Um, but anyway, that's my plan, um, is, is to, to work on the chicken in between episodes. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I really like that, um, it lights up right there when it's smelting. I think that's pretty, pretty fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, Jason, uh, was the one that recommended that to me as well. So, uh, thank you, Jason. Um, but yeah, uh, until next time, stay awesome, and thanks for being here.